Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have a video for you. <laughs> so here's the thing. I decided to get the brilliant idea that I would shoot this video outside and uh, nothing is working. Nothing is going right for me right now. And um, it, it, one thing, it's off and on rainy. Uh, another thing, I mean, I brought everything outside and then it's super hot and humid. And I didn't realize that. So I'm sweating and I'm trying to move things around. My neighbors are power washing something and they have their radio going. The dog wants me to play. Everything is just, lighting is bad. Everything's off. And I'm like, I'm just going to take all this stuff back in the house. But then I'm like, no, no, just do it. It doesn't matter. So like your eyes are all squinty because it's sunny and then it goes away and then it gets cloudy and then it starts to sprinkle and it's a mess. So you can probably see Keith's buckets back there. I'm trying to block my head over them. That's where he was filling buckets up with water to clean the patio furniture and stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh. Gosh, you ever have those days when just like no matter what, everything is just like, Arr. okay, anyways, so I'm kind of sweaty. Like I've been dabbing with a little Kleenex. My hair is, some of my hair don't care. Anyways, we're just going to do this. All right. So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up with my campaign 16 order for Avon. It wasn't big at all. Very, very small order. I only grabbed two things. But I'm very, very excited about both of them. So the one thing is, they're both new. One is old and new again, and the other thing is new, new. So the new, new is the Isanox A New Clinical Revitalize and Reveal Plus AHA Resurfacing Lotion for Body. Very excited about this. And the other thing I grabbed is the Skin So Soft Soft and Sensual Beauty Bar Soap. So this is a big deal. I used to love the Skin So Soft Bar Soap um, in the Soft and Sensual scent um, formula back in like the late 90s, early 2000s. That was all I used when I showered, like constantly. And then they discontinued it. But they have brought it back and it's 3.17 uh, ounces for I think $3.49. I looked it up in the book. $3.49 or $3.99. We'll look. But um, I found it interesting. They brought it back, but they do have their Veilment logo on it. And it says, um, Heritage Inspired Signature Oil Skin Softening Since 1961. Dutch just put his toy on my foot. That's why I, <laughs> I'm not having fits or anything. Um, it says, This nourishing bar soap infused with argan oil and a spicy floral scent effectively washes away bacteria as it helps skin retain moisture. The creamy hydrating lather leaves skin feeling soft and smooth, suitable for daily use on face, body, and hands. So what I remember most about this is it was so creamy, like it lathered up and it was so silky and creamy. Birds are having a fit. Everything's crazy. Um, birds are having a fit. It's hot and humid. I feel like I'm a sweat blossom. The dog's panting at my feet. You guys. <laughs> What's happening? This is what I get for loving the birds movie, right? I, I did find it interesting that this has an expiration date on it. I think that's really interesting. I never saw soap, just like regular bar soap. So it says it expires uh, December of 2024. So let's open it. I don't know if I'll take it out of the, the plastic. Um, now I want to say before it was pink and white striped. And this is just white. I can smell it through the plastic. Definitely has the soft and sensual odor to it. Well, not odor scent, I guess you want to say. But it's a lot smaller than it used to be. So it used to be like a regular size bar soap, like, uh, you know, like Dove or Dial or any of those kind of soaps. And that's what it used to be. So it's definitely smaller now. But I'm anxious to try it out and see how it works and I'll definitely let you guys know. Uh, I think it's a little spendy for that size of a bar but if I really love it then it's not. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I looked it up. <clears throat> so in campaign 17 which is getting ready to start next week it's going to be $3.49. A regular price of $4.50. So yeah. And then the other thing I can feel sweat trickling by my eyebrow. Ugh, you guys. Remind me never to film outside on a day like today again. 
<laughs> me and my bright ideas. And I know, like, if I was one of those, oh, the breeze is coming. If I was one of those, like, fancy YouTubers that has my shiz together, I would definitely have packed everything up, went back inside, tried to do better lighting, tried to do, sat under the air conditioning vent. I'm not that girl. That's not me. So, here we go. Sweaty, squinty. <laughs> What's happening? Right? Okay, so let's talk about the um, AHA body, uh, resurfacing body. Clinical, revitalize, and reveal. So I'm going to open it up. It is uh, five fluid ounces, which is nice. That's a, a nice, good size. Let's take it out and we'll look at the tube. Looks like so. Nice bright yellow. That's a nice. Now see here, here we come. There's a giant cloud getting ready to come over. So if it starts pouring down rain, then I will close up shop. <laughs> um, so it says all over the body once a day. So I have a um, plan for this, but let me read you what it says. In campaign 17, this is going to be $18.99 with a regular price of $34. Um, so it's going to be in the campaign 17, which starts next week, and I will be doing a campaign 17 video. Um, it says, advanced luxurious formula powered by lactic acid boosts skin's natural exfoliation process and moisturizes with shea butter to help visibly smooth, rough, bumpy, and creepy skin. As a result, skin feels softer and looks more radiant. So I specifically bought it with... Um, a target area in mind. I'm probably not going to use it all over my body. I'm going to be using it on my chest and my neck. Um, over the last few years, but particularly in the last year, I have begun to experience a lot of texture. I have skin tags, which I'm very self-conscious about, and um, I have had a few of them removed at my doctor's office and I haven't been exactly thrilled with the results. So I'm like looking into other avenues to get them fixed. Um, I think I'm going to try the uh, apple cider vinegar next. I've seen a lot of videos of people putting a cotton pad with uh, soaked apple cider vinegar over it and leaving it for a, a day or two and then it falls off. Um, I know some people complain that it leaves white spots, but the ones I got taken off in my doctor's office have left white spots to over here so you know it doesn't matter to me I just want them gone but in addition to the skin tags I just have texture and it goes all the way down into my boobies um, in between them and um, like on the sides of my neck and I'm just very my skin is bumpy and I'm very self-conscious about it and it used to be a time when I would have said, well, I don't care. I'm still going to wear, you know, low cut this and that. And I still, obviously, I have my neck showing, my arms, my V-neck on. But I'm to the point now where I'm very self-conscious about it. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm self-conscious when my husband wants to touch me and I'm self-conscious that my skin feels bumpy or rough or whatever. Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to work and I am going to take before and after photos. Um, I'm going to hopefully start using it maybe even tonight um, and then uh, we'll wait a month or so and we'll see. I'm going to try to use it every day. That's my problem. Sometimes I get inconsistent with the body products but um, this is a really um, like I'm really self-conscious about it so hopefully and then I can go back to like my off-the-shoulder stuff that I like to wear in the summer and everything um, it does say this sunburn alert use only as directed avoid contact with eyes um, it says uh, this product contains alpha hydroxy acid that may increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn. It is recommended that prior to exposure to the sun, users cover areas where AHA have been applied with sunscreen. Contact of the product with the skin must be of limited frequency or duration. Um, it says you can use it daily, so we'll try that and we'll see. I do know that I'm going to have to use sunscreen, and that's part of the problem is I'm so lazy about my sunscreen on my chest, and you can see, like, I have sun damage. Like, this is permanent sun damage that I have developed over the years. So I really need to change my ways with that. Um, I, I totally know that I do. 
So we're working on that. So that's the AHA um, clinical. So I'm really for body and I'm really excited to start using that. It feels nice now that I kind of think I've stopped sweating <laughs> now that the sun has disappeared. So those were my two big whopping products that I hauled in campaign 16. So um, not much at all, you guys, but um, there's not a lot I need and I'm trying to curb my spending um, I, uh, right now we're on and I mentioned this in some other videos we're on like a major overhaul of getting rid of things that we don't need right now we're downsizing we have a lot of stuff in our house that has to get cleared out um, Keith's parents lived in this house then we lived in so we had their things and we lived there they had our things and now my mom's here so she has her things so we have a lot of stuff in our house and we're really going through things but it's an ongoing project it's not something that you can just get done in a weekend you know what I mean so I'm really trying to be mindful of what I buy and what I'm bringing in and everything like that even small things that you know like this like like my Bath and Body Works collection oi <laughs> it's taking up so much room so but yeah I did get these two products very interested in them and anxious to try them both and I will keep you posted on how they go so all right you guys thank you so much for watching my sweaty discombobulated um mess of a video all right i will leave a link to my e-store as well as links to these two items um, in the description section below and i'm going to leave a link to my facebook group that i have um, i haven't mentioned the group in a while i have a facebook group that i use primarily for avon but also for other stuff we don't just talk about avon in there it's a very small group there's like a, just a little over 100 people in there at this time um it's not super active we um it gets you know a few maybe a post a week sometimes a few you know two more or three more depends on what's going on but it's not all avon um that's how i started it with avon when youtube was making or for Avon when YouTube was making some changes and I was afraid I was gonna lose my channel. So I created the group where I would have a place to connect with customers and stuff. And, um, but um, you're more than welcome to come over and we talk about beauty stuff, lifestyle stuff, just, you know, a little bit of everything. Um, so I will leave the link to that in the description section below. I do have other Avon reps in the group. So if you're a rep, that's fine, you know, no big deal. It's not, a, it's not necessarily a sales group. It's more of just a place for my customers to connect with each other. I really would, I really like it when they post about their purchases and um, their experience with their purchases and what they like and feedback on the products and other people can kind of get to know and um, each other. And what I really like is I've had several members of the group become Facebook friends with each other outside of the group. And I think that's great. I really love that. So um, I will link it in the description section below. It's called Our Sparkle Spot. And um, yeah, it'd be good if you wanna come on over. So I will see you guys in the next Avon video. I'm getting ready to film another one that is going to be my current Avon favorites, things I'm reaching for uh, on a daily basis right now from Avon. And after that next week, look for the Campaign 17 video. Um, That'll probably probably be up. I'm hoping Tuesday or Wednesday. My mom has a doctor's appointment Tuesday. I'm not sure about that. So it might not be till Wednesday. But um, I will have a video up for you guys. Alrighty. So thank you so much for watching. Please question or comment below. And I will see you in the next one.